Faisal and today we will going to cover our uh, Facebook tutorial series uh, part 2 which is uh, Facebook login how you can uh, set up your Facebook uh, login how you can integrate Facebook and how you can uh, use the Facebook login functionality and in the as you know uh, in the first if you want to know that how you can get your key hashes you can watch our my first video of this tutorial series and in the in this video you will going to cover Facebook login and so for let let's just get started so first open your browser type Facebook developer and open this one open this first link and login uh, first uh, when you will uh, lo uh, open this link first time you will see a login uh, login uh, tab here then just you, you just need to uh, log in with your Facebook account and I, I have already log, logged in with my Facebook account in Facebook developers so I'm gonna open this uh, link here as you can see that I already have an uh, app here uh, but to, uh, today I'm gonna create a new app for uh, showing me that how you can uh, integrate the Facebook so just uh, click on create app and you can uh, select your uh, Select your type, whatever kind of uh, application you want to create and however you want to use. I'm gonna select uh, for now as known and uh, click on continue. Uh, displaying name is uh, face exercises. Okay, and here is your email contact, which is uh, your account, Facebook account. Okay, and just click on create app. Okay, uh, I think the Facebook, uh, we cannot create the any application with name of uh, face or fa uh, Facebook uh, similar to Facebook. So we're gonna use, uh, we will gonna use demo exercises. Okay, the name can be any, there is no requirement for. So uh, I'm gonna type my password first. Okay, then click on submit okay here is our uh, application Facebook application is created for setting up the login uh, integration you have to use this one click on uh, Facebook's uh, login and click on setup then click on we okay, I'm gonna create for Android so I'm gonna click on Android then you can uh, you will see that the Facebook SDK uh, then just type is next okay now you need to uh, integrate this one so in your dependencies just copy this one and you can you can paste it in your gradle file We're gonna go back and just type next. You here you have to uh, provide your uh, package name. So I'm gonna go to the back. My page, uh, package name is com dot facebook dot exercises. So I'm gonna type com dot face exercises. Okay, and uh, application activities so com dot sizes let me just change this package name com dot fix sizes dot main activity because we will gonna need uh, set up the Facebook login on main activity so just click on save click on continue here is the uh, Way how you can get your uh, key hashes and release key hashes. You can uh, do uh, this. Uh, you can get your key hashes by, via this uh, these commands. Here you can uh, here you can see that uh, you can uh, get the release. How you can get the release key? So I already have uh, my key hashes. So here I'm gonna just copy my key hashes from here. 
you can uh, watch the key hashes uh, part of uh, this tutorial series from the my first part so i'm going to paste just paste it here okay, save you can continue uh, when it's same save next and you need to copy these lines now and copy just value strings paste them here these are your facebook uh, app id and protocol name and add a permission manifest okay now you need to use these files in your uh, manifest file so come here just paste them here okay now you just need to get next there is nothing left right now okay we just sync this project now click on next just this project we finish okay, as you can say this is fine now and now we will gonna create a package image app and I'm gonna create a app class application class so here I'm gonna name is is exercises okay i'm going to extend an application class i'm going to call an override a method which is an on create method and as you can see that in the previous one as you can see that uh, you can use this uh, uh, method for initializing the facebook sdk but this message this method is already deprecated so we will gonna use the new method which will be facebook stk dot fully initialized okay uh, app, type app, app event logger dot activate app dot this now go to your manifest go to upper go in application tag type name okay now your facebook sdk is uh, successfully initialized right now and what we need, to, we need to do is next is next and just copy this one here from here go to activity uh, main file and i'm going to change my layout file from real to okay just here let you layout type center in parent true okay now just copy the, the id so type login button type callback manager sorry callback manager callback manager and just Type implement Facebook callback and type sorry login result press alt enter implement methods okay so here our uh, methods are uh, successfully implemented so let's just find this one now you just need to use the callback sorry callback manager dot factory dot create okay now you need to set the callback manager on activity result so set the callback manager dot okay now you need to add request code 
result code and then data okay. and we have set up our data okay. and that then you have to set register a callback yeah so type register callback type callback and uh, this because we already implemented our facebook callback yeah. and in this one you can uh, do anything whatever you want to do as like just create toast and this login successfully okay and if you got any error just type toast this type error dot get message okay so whenever if you get any error will get a message okay, fine and you as you can see that this is the same we have set up the you can also use the login manager for your callbacks okay as you can see that fine fine this is how you can uh, check that new user is logged in or not and you can uh, this is also you can get your token okay so next and fine this is fine now you just need to okay. now you need to uh, paste a privacy policy here for enabling the app so i'm gonna use my privacy policy it will be I'm gonna use my privacy policy, which will be like. Uh, so just paste your uh, privacy policy URL here, and select a category. Uh, that what uh, kind of uh, category, whatever kind of country you, uh, category you want to select, you can select from here and press on save changes. Uh, press on save changes and then uh, enable this switch so your app will go uh, live okay now come back to your android studio as you to your android studio and run the app As you can see that our application is run successfully let's click on continue with facebook as you can see that our dialog is pop up now now you can uh, set your uh, uh, you can use your account and just log in here click on login so this is how you can uh, say integrate your facebook and in the next part we will learn that how you can uh, fetch facebook uh, data from profile okay so thank you for watching if you like the video please do like share and comment your queries and watch the facebook tutorial series thank you for watching